I'm Amanda Isaac, Associate Curator of Fine and Decorative Arts here at Mount Vernon, and we're talking today about an object that's closely associated with Nellie Custis. Nellie was Martha Washington's granddaughter, and according to family tradition, Martha gave this crib that you see here to Nellie for the birth of her first child, Francis Park Lewis, who was born here in November 1799. This is a wonderful example of the type of children's furniture that you would find find in elite households uh, in America at the end of the 18th century. Its most distinctive feature are the Doric columns that you see all around the sides here. They're very beautifully turned and uh, they really give it an air of high style elegance uh, to what otherwise is a spare form. It's functional as well, designed with function in mind. This side actually lowers, you see where the hinges are, so that you could then pull it up to alongside the mother's bed. She could lay the infant there during the night. It has had a hard life though, and there's been a number of alterations to it over the years. In particular, the legs were cut down and repaired at some point. The most glaring omission though is the lack of bed hangings that we see on this. To 18th century eyes, this really looks like a naked frame. The netting that you're seeing here was added during the last restoration of the room, and it's, we now know that it's a, a 19th century piece, not something the Washingtons would have used. Instead, what they would have had, uh, it would have been draped in fabric and with curtains, just like the high post beds of the time. Probably a white cotton dimity, maybe with some fringe along the edges. It really would have created this stage set for the presentation of the child to the world, to the family and friends, uh, really giving it a grand entrance to the world. We are going to be commissioning a new set of bed hangings uh, with the restoration of this room. And once that's done, I think we'll really get a chance to see this as the Washington and Nellie and her family saw it really is the focal point of this room.